Alrighty, so this is like the second half of the vlog. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know yet. But anyway, my kid wanted tacos, so my kid's getting tacos. So I kind of have everything spread out here. I've got some chips and some taco sauce, some queso sauce, I've got some salsa here. And basically what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the chips around this thing, I think, I'm not sure yet. Um, this is gonna be where the chicken goes, that's gonna be where the ground beef goes. I have this out for the cheese, and then over here, I have my um, tacos and I'm gonna warm up and then I have my uh, soft shell tacos inside of this little tortilla thing. So I am all ready for that. I have some um, refried beans there, ground beef here, Mexican rice here and chicken there. And uh, yeah, we are, we are all set. He's not even here yet. 420 he should be here soon Brian's home early he got home about 3 30 today and he's actually outside walking which good for him I was actually gonna do that today but because Brandon was coming in um, I had to get some stuff done um, and I actually have lettuce and tomato cut up already and that's in the fridge just waiting so and I actually have um, placemats sitting in here in the dining room where we're gonna be sitting um, I just have these two sitting here for now because I'll move it and put it there where my computer is. And then I have one sitting right there for where Brian is going to be. That way he can see the TV from where he is sitting. Perfect shot. And I think, I'm not really sure yet, I think we might go see a movie tonight. I'm gonna talk Brian into it. Brian hates going to the movies, but if he doesn't wanna go and Brandon does, then I think I'm gonna take my kid and we are gonna go to the movies together and we are gonna go see Black Panther because I've been wanting to see that. I've heard nothing but good reviews about it. So um, I think we might go. So obviously I'll let you guys know. I will talk with you guys later. Bye friends. Okay, so he is about 10 minutes away. I'm so excited. And I just want to say this is going to be the second half of the weekend vlog. I just um, finished editing and um, putting up, well, just editing. I haven't put it up yet, but I will. Um, the first half of the weekend vlog, which was what I did all day Friday. This is Friday evening, afternoon-ish. And um, I basically just was going to spend the rest of the afternoon with him. That's kind of what I said at the end of my last vlog. Um, and then I forgot to end it. But nonetheless, y'all know he's coming. He's going to be here. I just needed to go ahead and get that up and edit. Because I knew this weekend, this vlog is going to be quite long for the weekend. So, um... Yeah, so there you have it. And my son's gonna be here and we're gonna eat and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So I will probably see you guys tomorrow. I highly doubt we go see a movie now and all that he's gonna be here about 5.30 because we'll have to leave at 6.30 to go catch the movie at 7.15. So we'll probably just hang out here. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye friends. He's here. Can you hear it? to drink a lot they've got it obviously sponsored by Heine and of course Brandon and Brian are over here looking at the race car because of Mercedes-Benz obviously they've got the Atlanta grill here too you can get burgers fries hot dogs chicken tenders 
Lots of good choices for food. Lots of beverages. Molly B's Kitchen. Don't know what she offers. Oh, it looks like barbecue. Barbecue. Ooh, look at this place. Look at that. Well, that's a look at this wow, restaurant right here. Restaurant. Yeah, and you can look over to the track. I want to sit there. <laughs> Headed back over to Mercedes Benz Stadium. Gonna watch a little bit of the practice racing. So beautiful outside. Definitely toasty. Yep. It's nice. Warmed up to be a nice what 66 degrees. Oh, you might start sweating. Well go ahead. Well, that's what's so tricky about the weather here. Yeah. 
Yes, well, that's how you get it at places, junk food. So anyway, we're having junk food again. <laughs> Chicken nuggets or chicken tenders with waffle fries that are the best. And Brandon already finished all his and he's eating a burger. <laughs> Is it good? Oh yeah. Yeah? Good. Here's the skyline. So pretty. It's not prettier than Chicago's, but you know. And then if I zoom in, <laughs> on this big mountain that's like right there smack dab in the middle. I'm gonna try to zoom in as close as I can. Maybe you guys can see that mountain. See that mountain way out back there, that hill? Yeah, that's Stone Mountain right there. And we live about 30 minutes from that. That's the landfill. What? The landfill by the airport. I think so. I would think so, but look at all the mountains out that way. And this is where the Georgia Dome used to be, and they demolished the Georgia Dome to build the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which we are in right now. Very, very cool, but look at all that traffic. <laughs> Yikes. Obviously, that's all for the race today, and then everybody's coming in down there. Awesome. Looks so cool up here. Yeah. Do you remember when they did it when they blew it up? Oh no, look at that. Oh, I know. They're all piled on each other. I don't know why. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are section 311, we gotta go that way. The floor in here is really cool. It's like a football field. How neat is that? And of course, they've got the Atlanta Falcons and stuff everywhere. We are in like the third row now, or third level of the place. And we are at 311 over here. But this is cool though. This whole thing is all about the Falcons. Way up here, awesome. Oh, and like a falcon symbol. Too cool. Awesome, awesome. And some football stuff. More stairs to climb. I know. Whoa. up here. Uh, let's see, the first pot place we were at, we were sitting way over there in the black seats. And then earlier we were sitting below us. And now we're up here. And this is what the track looks like from up here. Wow. I am in bad, I am in so bad shape.
friends and we're back <laughs> we had such a wonderful time I enjoyed my entire day with my son we had a great time um, and it is 11 30 <clears throat> Brian has now jumped into the shower Brandon I think is in the shower and um, I am putting a band-aid on the back of my foot because I ended up getting like a blister last week when I went to the NASCAR race because I wore tennis shoes um, and I thought that I wouldn't have gotten a blister from those because I wore those before. Hang on. Uh, but I did. It's because my socks were short. But anyway, nonetheless. Um, putting a band-aid on my foot now because my blister is a little worse from today. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye. Good morning friends and today is the day that i am going to start painting my kitchen again i am headed to lowe's right now to go get paint i actually have my empty paint um container in the back floorboard here <clears throat> to make sure that i get the right color so everything matches brian has already set up my little saw horses for outside and I'm gonna be putting my doors out there and getting those ones done today. And then um, I'll have that side semi done. I still have to go like underneath. And, um, but I think Brian's mom kind of came up with an idea for that. So I don't have to like paint all that because that's gonna be really difficult to paint. So we might come up with something different for that. And then of course, um, and then on the sides, of course, on the ends of the cabinets, we're gonna put some, uh, white uh, beadboard or whatever it's called Wayne's coating so it looks it's gonna look really nice um, and then of course some nice trim and then I have to glaze it all because I wanted to make sure that because it's in the kitchen um, if it gets wet whatever it's just easy to wipe off so I'm going to have to glaze all that so I'll go back through it and glaze everything uh, which will be fine um, and that'll just take some time but I just want to get the kitchen at least done and then I can go back and glaze everything which would be nice but I, I don't know we'll see we'll see how it all works out and pans out for me and and we'll get it all done but uh, my son left this morning um, it's Sunday by the way um, <laughs> my son left this morning oh, about 6 30 or so um, I got up with him this morning I actually got him up this morning because he said he wanted to leave at 6 and so I got up at like 10 to 6 and he said he was going to be up that way he could go start his truck because he has a diesel truck and um, it needs to run for a little bit before he go just like gets it anyway um, Anyway, nonetheless, I ended up having to wake him up because he wasn't awake. I didn't hear him scurrying around in there. Um, so I actually ended up went, going and getting him up so he could get up and get himself ready. And then um, we, he went outside and started to truck, and then we just chatted until it warmed up. So that was nice. But I really enjoyed having him here. Um, <clears throat> It just made me sad to see him leave. I didn't want to. I didn't want him to leave. I just want to keep him there forever. But I know that I can't. You know, he's 22. He's very independent. Um, he's used to kind of being on his own and doing his own free thing. And and I understand that. I get that. But um, and I've always been that way too. But I also knew where my home was. I also knew where my mom was or my dad was. Um, and sadly, his his relationship with that side of the family is always very rocky and sketchy because they always give him such a hard time about being around me or being with me and um the main person who actually gives him a hard time about it is his uncle and um basically i guess at christmas time i'm not gonna bore you guys too much on this but i just want to let you guys know what my kids go through when it comes to me and that's why my other three are estranged from me and they don't want to see me um, it has nothing to do with anything that I did um, but anyway their uncle basically said at Christmas time he pulled Brandon aside and he said I have pictures of you and your mom together if you don't want me to ruin this Christmas 
um, you better get your act together. Um, and Brandon, I guess, pretty much just said, screw you, and he walked out. So I'm like, so again, if they are watching this video, which I'm sure that they do, because I'm sure that they watch me all the time, just to see, um, yeah, you can stop trying to threaten my kids or tell them that you have something over them because they are going to see me or talk to me. That's absolutely ridiculous. And I suggest that you are a 42-year-old man. And I highly suggest you maybe grow up yourself and stop living at home and living off your mom and dad. So with that being said, <laughs> um, we had a great weekend. Again, I hate that he had to go, but I understand. He had about a six-hour drive back to Mississippi, so... Um, <clears throat> I hope he has a safe trip and I just said text me when you get there. I love you and I'm hoping to go see him. I know we won't be able to go see him until about June. I kind of want to wait and go um, to Pensacola and see him when the water is really nice and we can actually, you know, swim and enjoy the water or whatever. So it'll probably be June before I make a trip to Pensacola and he's only two he's only an hour and a half from there two hours from there um, in Mississippi so he can just drive on over and, and stay with us which that's what he's done in the past so I'm excited about that but today is Sunday I'm gonna get some stuff done in my house and uh, I'm excited to start doing some of that stuff and getting some of that stuff wrapped up and done and I will see you guys once I get back home and get started. Okie dokie, so I'm finally home and I've already put um, like two coats of paint on <clears throat> the cabinet doors. So these were the last two cabinet doors on that side that I needed to finish. And I know somebody was asking me what paint I use and it is right down here. It is the Valspar Chalky, Valspar Chalky Finish Paint. This is the step one. And then there is a step two um, <clears throat> that you can purchase that goes along with this. But I just bought a regular like polyurethane <clears throat> coat that I'm going to put on it just to give it that like extra coating. Um, that way, um, because if it gets wet or whatever, I can wipe it off. So that works really, really well. And Brian's doing outside yard work. What's wrong with you? Just enjoying the show. Oh, great. Enjoy the show. The Angie in Wonderland show. Please subscribe. <laughs> anyway, so he's been um, cleaning up the backyard and pulling weeds. You can see we have a huge mess here. He's going to clear all that up and then um, probably burn all of that. But he's been cleaning everything up and starting to make everything look really, really nice and cleaning it up for spring and being real sprucey. <clears throat> I'm going to give that a few more minutes to dry because I want it to really, really dry. I don't like to apply another coat on there while it's still tacky. Yes. So, oh, in the meantime, oh, excuse me, it is almost lunchtime. So I'm probably going to go ahead and start getting some of our food out for lunch. Whew, oh my gosh. I've been looking at beds this morning too because we want a new bed and I picked out a couple but I might want to go like furniture shopping and go look for beds because I really want to get rid of this bed so bye bye old bed happy or goodbye old bed hello new bed <clears throat> when it comes I haven't figured it out yet but we have to figure it out and that's what we're gonna do Yay, I'm excited about getting my stuff done and my painting. And I actually started um, on the doors in here too. I kind of actually started um, scuffing those up a little bit because I want to scuff those obviously before I um, put the polyurethane on there because that way it'll be done. So yeah, I've kind of started scuffing them already. I bought a sandpaper block and that's kind of what I've been doing, just kind of scuffing them, scuffing them up a little bit and making them a little bit smoother because that chalk paint does leave a rough finish and I kind of wanted it to be a little bit smoother. So um, that sandpaper is doing really, really good with it. So happy Sunday, busy Sunday, which I'm glad. Yay! Alrighty, so it has been a few hours and I went ahead and put the doors on. So this bottom side is like 
as, a, as far as painting goes, it is done being painted. Um, now I have to go back through and sand it, like I said. And this is not working the way that I want it to. Um, I kind of, if you guys can see like up close here, I'm trying to, you know, scuff it up so it looks very, very like old and rustic. Um, this is not working the way that I want it to, but it, it is making the surfaces a lot smoother, which is nice um, because that is definitely something that I really like because um, when I put the poly on, it'll, it'll seem to go on a lot smoother and this is a lot smoother too which I like it's not as rough and surfacey as the ones that I haven't done yet but that's gonna be another project <laughs> part of what I'm gonna do um, I think but anyway so far this is what it looks like this side done painted underneath obviously is not painted yet Brian and I were just talking about that we're gonna tape that off and I'll paint underneath there <clears throat> after I'm all done. And then like I said, on the sides over here, we're gonna put um, a Wayne's coating right there. Same stuff that's over here on my island. But anyway, that's it for today. That's it for the weekend vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend. If you did, give this a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow on Angie in Wonderland. Be kind to one another, bye. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong.